If you're someone that's running low on space on your laptop or your hard drive and you have a Mac and you can't seem to get rid of this area, that gray area, you know what I'm talking about, that right there. Stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to show you a secret way that most people do not know on how to clear this up, especially if you're a producer, engineer, artist, etc. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your finder, which you can go to your desktop, hit Command F. Then once you hit Command F, you might think that is enough. You don't want to. You want to hit what is called Shift Command G. Once again, Shift Command G. And you're gonna put in that Matilda sign, that little squibbly sign that's at the top left of your keyboard there. Backspace library or front slash library. Make sure you do that. Once you do that, hit enter. Once you hit enter, it's gonna take you into a secret menu here. And inside of this secret menu, you wanna go to cache. Make sure you go to this, caches. You wanna open that up and then inside of your caches, you will see your culprits and you can gather this by size. It's gonna continue, but I already know one of my culprits was Adobe. Adobe had over 200 gigs and I got rid of all of it, all that cash. And there was another one called Cloud Kit. Got rid of that too, didn't need it. If you need it because you use iCloud and all that stuff, you might wanna keep it, but I got rid of it and I don't need it. That will take this number back down. As you see, I have about, a terabyte and a full terabyte left of room so that cleared up my issue and i'm able to put things on my fast hard drive without worrying about taking up space make sure you save this video so you can come back to it later also make sure that you like this video and share it with people that may or may not have this problem follow me